Hey guys, what is up? It's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that's very, very, very exciting, at least for me, because as some of you guys may know, it's been a hot minute since the last time I did like a legit beauty video here on my channel. So I'm slowly implementing the makeup back to my channel in a way that's very fun and enjoyable to watch. With that being said, I decided to do a completed look for back to school. So not only am I going to be doing makeup, but I'm also going to be sharing with you guys a hairstyle and also outfit idea. I also want to let you guys know that this video is going to be an awesome collab video with my very good friend Mariale here on YouTube. I love her to death. I met her when I was shooting for Maybelline in Walmart a few weeks ago in Riverside, California. So we decided that we we're going to put together a video. She's also doing a completed back to school look. So she's going to be sharing with you guys hair, makeup, and also an outfit idea. So be sure to head over to her channel and let her know that I sent you. And if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe to this channel because we are so close to our goal of 500,000 subscribers. We recently just hit 420,000. Like... Can we talk about it? I mean, that's insane. So subscribe if you guys aren't already. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, guys. So we're going to start this video off with the makeup, which is honestly my favorite part. So you're going to make sure you start off with a clean, fresh face. Then I'm jumping straight into primer. I'm using the Benefit Pore Professional in the very center of my face to blur away any of my pores. And then I'm using the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer on the perimeter of my face because my skin is a little bit dry. But let's be completely real, you don't have to use two primers, I just decided to use two because I'm being a little bit extra. Then going in with my IT Cosmetics CC Foundation Cream, I absolutely love this stuff because one, it's lightweight, two, full coverage, and three, it has SPF 50. This is going to be perfect for school because like I said, it is very lightweight, so it's barely going to feel like you have anything on your face. As you can see, I did small dots on my face and I only used one pump of this. I absolutely love it. And at the end of the day, foundation is only meant to even out your skin tone. If you do have any dark circles or imperfections, that's where concealer comes in. So I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer and I'm applying this directly underneath my eyes and over any blemishes that I may have. And then I'm blending everything out with a damp beauty blender. Using that same damp beauty blender, I'm going in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm dipping that beauty blender into the shade called Lyric and I'm setting my under eye concealer with this product and I'm also taking it on the very center of my nose and Cupid's bow and also my chin since I didn't want to go too crazy with the highlighting concealer, I just used a highlighting powder instead. With a light hand, I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Give Me Some Bronzer around the perimeter of my face. I'm just using this to bronze up my face. As you can see, I am using a large powder brush by Sigma. This is going to ensure that I don't get a really harsh, defined line. Like I said, I'm not contouring with it. I just want it to be very nice, diffused, and give my face a little bit more color. For blush, I just went in with MAC Cosmetics Peaches Blush, which is this really pretty peach color. But if you want something a little bit more affordable, I definitely recommend Milani's Luminoso Blush. It's very similar. Now, to highlight my face, I'm going in with Champagne Pop Highlighter by Becca, and I'm applying this to the very tops of my cheekbones. You guys know me, I absolutely love to glow. So I'm applying a highlighter, but you can do whatever you want. For my brows, I'm going in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Brunette, and I'm just taking the spoolie end of this product and I'm combing out my brows before actually filling them in. Then I'm taking the product and I'm outlining a line underneath my brow and I'm also doing this line above my eyebrow. Then I'm going to slightly fill them in. This is pretty much just a speedy version of what I do to my brows. If you guys want to see an in-depth tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, I'm going to actually link that down below because like I said, this is a speedy version. So check it out down below in the description. Since this is more of a back to school makeup look, I'm skipping out on eyeshadow. That's not to say that people don't wear eyeshadow to school. This is just what I would personally wear. If I was in school, I personally wouldn't wear eyeshadow. So I'm just going in with Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara, which is honestly my favorite mascara at the moment. It's amazing. I love it. I just did about two coats on my top lashes and a slight coat on my bottom lashes. For lip gloss, I went in with the Anastasia Dollhouse Lip Gloss, which I couldn't find an image of. I feel like the images online were just like not true to color, but I find that a gloss is a lot better than applying a lipstick just because it's very sheer and you can wipe it off if you aren't feeling it throughout the day. For a brow bone highlight, I just went in with the MAC Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Nylon, and I also applied this towards the very inner corner of my eyes to give them a little bit more of a pop. Another thing I like to do when I'm not wearing lashes is to tight line. I always make sure I do this because this is going to make it appear as though you have really nice, thick 
full lashes. And I also took this gel liner towards the very outer corner of my eyelid, which is also going to give you that really thick kind of eye look. Moving on to the hair, I'm going to show you guys how to get this really cute Dutch fishtail fringe braid, if that makes any sense at all. So you're going to want to brush your hair out because obviously we're not going to want any knots or anything like that. Then I am going to part my hair where I want my hair to be parted. I did mine in kind of like a curve shape, but you can do whatever it is that you want. Then I sectioned off my fringe. However big you want this to be is how big you make it. This is how big I needed mine to be just because my fringe isn't that long. And then I just took the remaining of my hair and I tied it back so that way it didn't get in the way when we were doing this Dutch fishtail braid thing. After sectioning off your hair, it's time to get started on the braid. So you're going to want to take a small section of hair and then you're going to take that section of hair and you're going to section it off into two sections. After that, you're going to take the front piece from the front part and you're going to cross it under. Instead of crossing it over, you want to cross it under. Then you're going to join it with the outer piece and then you're going to take a piece from the outer piece and then you are going to cross that piece underneath. So it's kind of like a fishtail, but instead of crossing over, you are crossing under. Once you did that, it's time to start picking up extra pieces. So you are going to take a piece from the very front part of your hair, and then you are also going to take a piece from the front piece that you are holding. You are going to join the two pieces together, and then you are going to take that piece, and then you are going to cross it under, and you are going to join that piece with the outer piece. You are going to repeat this step, and you're going to do the same exact thing to the outer piece. So you're going to pick up a piece of hair outside of the piece that you are holding, and then you're going to take that piece and you're going to join it with some hair that you are holding and then you're going to cross it under and join it with the front part. Now this is so confusing to explain, but it's honestly very, very simple. Since I do have darker colored hair, it is harder to see what kind of pieces I'm crossing over and under. So if you guys want to see an in-depth tutorial on this particular hairstyle, I'm going to leave a link linked down below so that way you guys can check it out. This person does have lighter hair, so it is a lot easier to see what she's doing as opposed to my hair. It is very, very dark, so it's kind of hard to see what pieces I'm crossing over and under. But once you get the hang of it, you got it. Trust me. When you get about to your eyebrow, you want to start doing just a regular fishtail. But like I said, instead of crossing over, you are going to cross under. If you guys want an in-depth tutorial on a fishtail, I'm also going to leave that linked down below. Once you get down to the very bottom, you want to tie it off with an elastic. As you guys can see, I didn't have an elastic, so I just used what I had. I just used a hair tie, but I highly recommend using an elastic because it's not as big, it's not as bulky. Once you have tied it off, you're going to want to start stretching your Dutch fishtail and pulling it apart so that way it's big, it's messy, and it looks very effortless. You don't want this to look like you tried very hard at all, so you just want to pull it apart. Don't pull it apart too much, but just pull it apart so that way it does look very messy and effortless, like I said. After that, you want to style your hair however you want. I decided to just do loose waves, and then I sprayed everything in place with hairspray. As for my outfit, I decided to keep things pretty simple. So I'm just wearing these Tom Girl jeans from American Eagle, this donut shirt from Zara. My backpack is from Forever 21, and my sandals are from Urban Outfitters. And that's about it. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and like I said, don't forget to check out Mariale's video. I'm going to have it linked down below. And if you guys really like completed looks where I share with you guys makeup, hair, and also outfits, let me know because I'll be happy to do them. In fact, I really like doing it this way, so that way I'm able to still get out of the house and still film makeup and hair and do things beauty related here on this channel. So let me know, and I do have some future makeup tutorials coming up very, very, very soon for those of you guys who are